please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Celebrating 16 years of Young Turks. Hello and welcome to Young Turks India's longest running show on entrepreneurship. My name is Megha Vishwanath. Today we revisit one of our Young Turks from 2014. He started out as just another messaging app on the blog, but eventually made it to the list of India's top unicorns. We're talking about Kavan Bharti Mittal. Kavan, thank you so much for speaking to us on Young Turks. It's always a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, there's a special reason why we are meeting up today and chatting. It's because Hike has come up with one more product and it's called Total. So for the benefit of our viewers, talk to us about it. What is Total all about? Sure, absolutely. Thanks for having us on the show. Um, Total Built by Hike is a brand new product that we're launching mm. aimed at uh, simplifying the first time internet experience for the mass market. Mm. You know, while we have 400 million smartphone users in the country, still about only 200 million people are really truly using the internet. That's right. And when we asked the question, why is there this gap? Mm. We can tell that not only are the current prices, despite them falling so much, still expensive for these large pockets of the market, but the whole you know, idea of coming mm. online, the whole process is a 15, 20 step process that's very, very complicated. You have to buy a smartphone, you've got to figure that out, you have to sign into the operating system with an email address. True. Lots of folks don't have emails, then you have the apps and then you have data and then the phones can't handle too many apps too. True. So we asked ourselves, if we want to bring a billion people online, how do we target the, the mass market? Mm. And can we take this 15, 20 step process and make it just three, four steps? Mm. So Total Build by Hike goes and does that. Can, you know, it is simply a set of services deeply embedded on Google's Android operating system that simplifies the on onboarding experience, bundles in the essential services like messaging, news, cricket scores, recharge, and a few other things, mm. and makes it all work without data. What is the tech behind it? How is this working without data? Yeah, so you know, India is unique in the sense that there's a technology called USSD, and mm. not the mass market doesn't know about this. Yes but it's very popular. And USSD is that star one-to-one -one hash that you dial on your phone that throws up a pop-up and has that serial menu through which you can do recharges, check mm. your balances and so on and so forth. There are over 300 million people on a monthly basis today in the country that use USSD. And half of those people are on smartphones because not everybody on a smartphone has the internet. So the simple question that we asked was, can we utilize that technology uh, and have our services work on USSD? And that's exactly what we've done. Okay, so, you know, that's just a whole bunch of jargons out there. I'm sure people understood the star one, two, three part. But USSD essentially is where a user dials a number requesting for a service. It goes to the telco, at least that's what sure. uh, was happening so far. The telco responds back with a bunch of options. As a user, I can pick what option I want, I send it back, and then I get a response. Yep. All this is happening without internet. This is what used to happen even in the feature phone days. Mm. What is it that you're doing for the smartphone? Uh, in the sense that who and how is the backend being managed? Because all this messy, especially that star one, two, three user interface was very, very clumsy, yeah. yes. We built something called UTP, and this is more tech jargon, but UTP is simply universal transfer protocol, which has taken USSD and supercharged it. Hmm. And uh, built it in such a way that the, our app UI and the smartphone can actually use USSD. So the, the highlight over here is how the technology works, not exactly what the technology is. So when I buy one of the smartphones with Total inside, the best part is you buy the phone, mm. you tap a couple of times, mm. you're signed in to all these services ready to go out of the box, and they all work without data. And, and it's a fair comparison that USSD works a lot like calls. We are experiencing so many call drops because maybe you know the spectrum's not enough sure. to, to handle the number of phone calls that are being done at that point, and hence you, you know, simply, if but that's when you experience a call drop. When you're saying that you're going to plug in USSD for services that are going to be uh, inbuilt in some phones, do you see that at some point, or do you see that as a problem or a challenge at some point where your servants would not be able to handle the volume uh, of services or the requests that are coming in? It's a good question, and there are three parts to this. There are all the apps, there is the middle USSD pipe, and there are servers. Mm. Our servers in the app, they work fantastic. They can handle as much scale as you know, we can dream of. The, the USSD pipe is where the challenge comes, mm. which is why we built UTP that's, you know, that has optimized USSD to make sure that despite all the congestion in the network, all our services work fine. Which is what's supercharged. 
which is oh. what I mean by supercharging yes. it. So we, we've supercharged USSD by compressing the data, managing it in a, in a way where it streams back and forth very, very easily to ensure that none of these problems come to these services. Mm -hmm. And on the back end, you know, we, we've, we've been building a service for the last four and a half, five years with tens of millions of you know, users using Hike Daily, so we're right. pretty equipped for that too. So the, the real key over here is that, again, you log, you know, there's a single login to all these services, they all work without data on USSD, and the experience is very fast. Hmm. It's almost as fast as data okay. on the smaller information that you want on the phone. And all this is not theory anymore. You've actually partnered with a hardware maker, and uh, you know, this product is a reality now. So let's unbox this. Usually I do this unboxing on my own on CNBC TV 18, but it's interesting to have you on board. Sure. So let's like dive in right now. Absolutely, let's do it. Intex is one of our partners. We have Intex and Carbon both. Okay. Uh, total will be shipping on four models, three on Intex and one on Carbon starting first March. Okay. To make all the, the USSD stuff work, we also have four telecom partners with us. Okay. We have Airtel, Vodafone, Aircel and BSNL too. Okay. Welcome screen looks very familiar. So when you launch the phone, the Android boot up screen comes up. Hmm. Once you, you do the you know, few steps that Google requires you to, you come straight to Total. And as you can see that the Total experience is launched. And when I tap on Next, so messaging, the wallet, recharts, cricket, news, horoscopes, and even real info, all have the star badge. So that's it, you know, the phone is ready to go out of the box. It's up and running. Up and running, so you don't need data, you don't need anything else. We've signed you in via your phone number. Without your email ID. So all you needed to do was enter the phone number. Yeah, so when you insert a SIM card, we grab your phone number and we do an OTP and verify you. And that's all happening in the backend? All of it. We've simplified everything. Okay. And it signs you into all the services okay. that we talked about. And what's the pricing of the Intex and the Carbon phones that you're launching? So the phones start as low as 3,500 rupees okay. today. Okay. And they go up to 5,000 rupees. Uh, don't be surprised if in six months from now we're launching models with our partners that are even cheaper than that. Okay. All right. So uh, cheap phones with a bunch of services all bunged in into the smartphone, almost like a geo phone, if I may say that? Well, we're not building a phone to start with. Okay. And second of all, what's what's key over here is the user experience and the tech making it work without data. Uh -huh. So you don't even have to purchase a data pack. All these services work without data. Okay. And that's really, really powerful. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that you're competing with the geo phones of the world? I think that's a stretch. I think that the fundamental difference is that we are building the software and we have partners who are building an ecosystem with us. We mm. have Intex on board, we have Carbon on board, mm. we have Vodafone on board, Airtel on board, SL, BSL. Together there's this idea that more work has to be done to bring a billion people online. Okay. And the seven of us together have actually come together to actually build you know, this entire product. We, we still believe people for people to come online, mm. they have to be on data. Okay. And that's very, very important. So we've also built something inside the, uh, in total, that upsells data very contextually inside mm. the, uh, the experience. For instance, cricket updates, uh, that's available on this, right? So this is cricket, mm -hmm. um, and you can see there's an India-South Africa match live right now, and you're getting all the scores uh, without data. So all of this stuff, you can see, it all works without data. So that was, that was content, essentially, like cricket scores, horoscope, two things that really excites uh, Indians. But um, it's interesting to know that you can even make payments without data, right? Using uh, the Hike wallet. And I have uh, another Intex phone that's powered by Total on me as well. So can we quickly try um, yeah. doing that? I have enough money in my wallet, so I'll send you 101 rupees for luck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I just got And you can see the money's message. been sent and you've gotten the... I got the SMS first. You got the SMS first. That mm -hmm. happens because all these things work in SMS too. Okay. So you can see how fast the experience was. It yes. feels like it's on data. Yeah. But USSD speeds are two to three kilobits per second. Okay. So imagine all the heavy lifting we've done behind the scenes to make it work as fast as this. So that's all the software tweaks that you've Absolutely. done? Absolutely. 4G okay. is 60, 70 megabits per second. So that means messages, I'm assuming, would be a cakewalk. Absolutely. Messages stickers, are Stickers, height stickers are again something that happened. What about stickers? Stickers also work on USSD. Okay. So here's this thing. If you send a photo on which USSD... Is, which is now rich media, right? Because that Absolutely. would be step, step two. So if you want to send a photo, technically speaking, you can send those over USSD. But it'll take a long time because so photos are... that's not are, the most practical option. It's not the most practical option. Okay. But we see this as an opportunity to upsell data to people on the platform. How do you do that? So let me show that to you. So here's me sending um, you a, a photo. There's a small little UI that pops up over the image that says tap to send. Okay. We've built in data upsell hmm. deeply into hmm. the operating system itself. 
So it says you need data to send this attachment and I can buy data from the device itself and we worked very hard with our telco partners right. to get special data packs starting as low as one rupee. And I see that there is a very interesting translation there, 20 MB buy for one rupee, that 20 MB translates to 100 photos of five songs or four videos. Yeah, we thought that we should do our best guess of what 20 MB will mean okay. to someone who's using data for the first time because what does MB really mean? Yeah. Okay, Kavan, thank you so much for the demo here. Now, let me move on and ask you now, you've said that the Geo comparison is a bit of a stretch, uh, the Geo phone uh, comparison. What about a homegrown Indus OS? You know, they are pretty much, or they were pretty much targeting the same user base as you are. First of all, again, we're not building an OS. I think that's the most important thing. What, right. what we, a lot of the stuff that Indus is solving now is really baked deeply into Google. Hmm. So all the language support and stuff Google as Android actually brings into the phone. Hmm. And our, again, just to zoom out, the dream is very simple. How do you just simplify right. this 15, 20 step process into three, four steps? Hmm. And to do that, you have to kind of, you know, uh, take all these pieces and hmm. bring them together in a very simple user experience. That's the power of the smartphone. You have the control of the pixels. Hmm. Can you use that to streamline the entire user experience and the technology, the back will handle the rest. So what Indus is doing is one very small part of what we are doing. Um, and we, we look at what we're doing um, as a end to an experience rather than one part of the value chain. Okay. So all the hard work that the device guys are doing, the telcos are doing, that Google has done, we're just saying, hey, let's take all that stuff, put it together, add some of our own stuff, and make it extremely simple for a first time mobile internet user. All right, on that note, we will have to take a quick break on CNBC TV 18's Young Turks. But on the other side, we continue our conversation with Kavan to know more about Total and where Kavan and Total stand when it comes to the net neutrality debate. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You're watching our Young Turks special and we are in conversation with Kavan Bharti Mittal on the launch of Total, which is a new product by Hike. Just to give you a quick recap, uh, Kavan, tell us again, what is Total? It's not an OS, it's not a phone. How's, what's the best way to define it in one line? Um, Total is a brand new product that simplifies the first time internet experience for a mobile phone user. That's the idea. It's a set of services built uh, deeply embedded on Google's Android OS that uh, simplifies the entire internet experience and has services that work without data. Okay, excellent. So when you say services, right, now these are the services that you're building, uh, almost building an ecosystem because it's got the Hike wallet, it's got the Hike messenger, it's got a few other, you know, content like horoscope, a few demos that we just saw. Sure. All that's a part of the total platform. So now that brings me to the elephant in the room. A few people might critique this uh, as building a walled garden. Something similar to what Facebook was trying to do or what they'd envisioned free basics to be, right? Where do you stand um, when it comes to the net neutrality debate? Yeah, I think what's important here is that we're not the first guys using USSD. Hmm. Um, you have the telcos using them with the star one, two hashes and so on and so forth, but you're also having the government promote USSD in a, in a huge way. So you have NPCI doing the star 99 hash for UPI that works over USSD. Hmm. So USSD is an open platform. Anyone can go and build on it. We've just done a different variant for ourselves for a set of services um, built on Total and Android. But that's exactly where the problem lies because uh, when you talk about the government or this whole USSD uh, you know, argument or the counter that you have, the government is using that for one app and that's essentially meant for payments. What you are doing is that you're using the USSD platform, but using it uh, to, you know, exclusively on the starred apps. So far, these apps have been developed by the Hike platform and the Hike team itself. But I'm just trying to understand what's the way forward, because eventually there might be a few partners that might come on board and say that, hey, we want to be on the total platform that can be used without data. We want to be a starred app. And that's almost like a desi wall garden. The key over here is that USSD is a technology that's being used by over 300 million people today to do a lot of stuff. Mm. And we're not the first ones building on it. USSD as a protocol, while it's managed by the telcos, is completely open. Anyone can come and build on USSD. Mm. We've done a variant um, with Total on Android that handles a few services to start off with. Mm -hmm. Do we imagine this becoming an open developer platform? That's exactly the goal. In six, seven months from now, can we have more people building on this platform in a way where they can harness not only what's happening on Hike App, but Total too? 
but that's what you're building an exclusive club of these starred apps and that's that was the biggest argument when it comes to Zuckerberg's vision of free basics was pretty much this then we saw how that went down in India so so are you saying we should ban USSD completely I'm not saying we should ban <laughs> USSD completely you I'm asking 300 what, million people who recharge their phones in USSD today but this is not about USSD I'm asking about the total platform the total platform is built specifically for this purpose on okay. USSD and the reason we're doing that is because two years ago I remember try published a paper saying why is the ecosystem not making use of USSD okay and we've been working not for the last two years but in 2017 hard to figure out is there a way we can harness USSD or not as you've seen we upsell data packs inside the OS itself hmm. there are full data packs those data packs work across any application if you want to install a Facebook tomorrow it'll work on that too so we're not controlling access at all hmm. unlike what people are doing in the market we're not controlling access at all okay when you buy a data pack on these phones no matter how small or big they are they work with any app so you don't see this being differential or, 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 or you're segregating like the app world or the world of internet in any way? You don't think not so? Not at all. USSD is not the internet. You, not you USSD. Get, I'm get, talking about the total platform. Two, three kilobits per second huh. is not the internet. Okay. We are very, very clear. All the stuff that we're doing on USSD is simple services, simple basic information that people can get. And so that's how we built the ecosystem. So our goal is not to close it off. Our goal is to actually bring people more onto the open internet. What a period of time. Okay, so that's 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 your stand, and you're going to hold your ground. Uh, and I wish you the very best in tackling with everyone who's going to critique uh, Total in the future as well. But let's talk about the telcos that you've partnered with, and and the prices. For instance, what we saw was 20 MB at one rupee. <coughs> Now this is a standard pricing that you've managed to get the four partner telcos or uh, uh, you know they're all giving the same price right that's standardized absolutely uh, yeah. it's 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 hard not to notice how Jio is the only telco somehow or the major telco that's not on board so it's basically everyone like the top players except for Jio an idea an idea so we're working on both of them hopefully as time permits um, so you are in talks with Jio as well we're in for talks this? with everybody including Jio too uh -huh. um, the difference one of the things about USSD mm. is that um, 4G networks mm. Volti networks don't have USSD so okay. a lot of the tech that we're doing actually works on 3G networks and also 2G networks yeah but the, of course there are similar protocols in 4G but we're figuring out the technology there itself but okay. the simple idea is we have four telcos on board. We have Airtel, Vodafone, Aircel, and BSNL, and we worked very hard with them to integrate ourselves at the USSD layer. Hmm. But more importantly, work with them very closely with the data upsell piece too. Okay. And we've got data packs starting as low as one rupee. Uh, that's the cheapest in the market for 20 MB, hmm. and to get people a taste of data okay. in the open internet. That's the idea. Okay. So while I understand that uh, these partnerships have worked very well for Total or to power Total, right? Especially from the telcos. If I were to turn the tables and ask you, like, what is it? in for the telcos like what are they getting out of this deal and uh, what's incentivized them to come on board uh, and sign up a deal with total so 400 million smartphone users hmm. 200 million daily active internet customers True. what are those 200 million people doing that are not on data hmm. the core business if not one of the core businesses of telcos now is data Yes. So how do we bring more people onto data? Okay. And the telcos share our vision that we need to build something more to simplify the early parts of the onboarding experience to mm. eventually get people onto data. Okay. The end goal of Total again is to bring India online. And we've taken a very different approach to what we've done with the messaging application mm. with Total by deeply embedding at the device layer so we can actually build an experience that hands hold holds people okay. onto onto data. Okay. So, so this is a long pack. term vision for Total and the telcos. Uh, and the device makers And the too. device makers, of because course. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to get people onto data. Okay. Um, the data back upsell that we built inside the operating system mm. itself that's so seamless is the key selling point mm. here. Mm. What about partnerships? Like what's the way forward for partnerships in Total? In Total, for <laughs> Total. Uh, and, and for instance, like what's in it for the Googles of the world? Sure. So the best part about Total is that the incentives between the telcos, the OEMs, the smartphone makers and us are completely aligned. Hmm. Telcos want more data subscribers, OEMs want more devices sold, and of course Hike wants more active users. Hmm. So the incentives are completely aligned. Hmm. So our goal is to start off by say, uh, to get, getting to a point where our existing device partners and new device partners, we can sell many more devices. As you yeah. know, you know, in India we're doing over 100 million new smartphones sold every year. Yeah. The big question that we ask as Total and Hike and also mm. the ecosystem that mm. we're building is mm. how can we ensure that 
over a period of time, yeah. a larger percentage of phones that are sold actually have total built-in on them. Hmm. So okay. that's the idea. So that's the, that's the bigger vision. But let's talk numbers, right? How are you monetizing or what's the plan to monetize total? Right now, all the apps are being developed that are on total uh, are apps like Wallet, Messenger. That's all hikes property, right? And all, of course, the other content and everything, that's something that you've made a few partnerships. For instance, for railway information, you've partnered uh, with confirmed tickets. With confirmed tickets. So, what's the way forward? What's the monetization strategy going forward? So, we're still in the phase of the business where we're trying to build the the hmm. active user base. Okay. And our goal in 2018 hmm. with the app and Total, that are completely separate products, is to grow our ecosystem. That's it. That's our goal. So, while we think about so that monetization, that means pumping in a lot of money right now. Yeah, we're, we're still in the investment in the building phase of the business. We, while we think about monetization, you will not see us try to monetize the platform until 2019. So how are you going to monetize it in 2019? So con consumer businesses in the internet have two ways they make money. Hmm. Consumers either, tra either transact yeah. with services or services either sponsor hmm. consumers. Hmm. The Western world has taken the latter route. Okay. It's an ad-based platform. All the Googles and Facebooks have the ad-based strategy. Yeah. If you look at the East, it's completely the opposite. You have hmm. consumers transacting and spending billions of dollars a year on virtual items, games, stickers, and so on and so forth. Hmm. So there are two very distinct and proven models okay. that work in the West and the East. Okay. Of course, both the worlds are trying to sort of copy one another. Okay. And so India will land up somewhere in the middle there too. Okay. And so as we build up more transactions in the platform, and as you know that Hike's already doing as the app, yeah. 10 million transactions per month already. Mm -hmm. And as we bring more transactional services there and total too, that definitely becomes one revenue stream over time. Mm -hmm. Everything on the total ecosystem is powered by Hike. Sure. Right? All those products that you've brought in, as you yourself said, things like even content like cricket and horoscope, everything was there on the messenger that's been brought onto the total ecosystem. What's uh, the way forward? Do you see uh, you know, opening the platform out to third party developers? Yeah, so it's very natural as you get to scale us opening up our platform. Yeah. As a matter of fact, in, in the first quarter calendar year of 2018, you will see us launch mm. on the high cap itself, things like taxi bookings, movie ticketing, and so on and so forth. And this is not us building these services, but our partners working very, very closely with us. Like, like who? Who are you in talks with? You will find out very soon. We will find out very soon, okay. <laughs> and the eventual goal in Q2-Q3 is to fully open this up. I believe uh, you're trying to get all government apps in Umang uh, on the platform, you're trying to uh, now make railway not just inquiry or information, but also booking in terms of IRCTC. So, yeah, a few so of those early talks, if you can highlight, uh, you know, what would total look like in a few months for us? Absolutely. So again, high cap and total two separate products. So we're working on taxi bookings, movie ticketing, all that stuff for the high cap because we believe it's very relevant for the youth. Huh. On total itself, we're taking a bit of a different approach. Hmm. We've begun talks with the NPCI. Okay. For example, how do we get UPI fully embedded on this device working with other data too? Okay. We hope to start talking with Métis as well and figure out how we can bring the MyGov app, hmm. the Umang app, and make them all work inside the total ecosystem itself. Hmm. And, we, and we believe that's a very powerful idea. And once we launch Total, my guess is we'll see a lot more feedback about what people want. Yeah. And, and we're then actually, you're going to start yeah, acting on that. Yeah, we're okay. looking forward to that. We're, we can't wait to see what people actually want on, okay. on Total. Have you filed for patents here or, or uh, is this exclusive or is this technology exclusive to you as of now or is there some global competition to this as well? In the world we live in today, people I think have forgotten about USSD. Okay. And uh, in a market like India where you have 300 million people plus using USSD on a monthly basis and this is a stat that not many people know. Yeah. You can see the the power of it too. Hmm. So we're the, we we appear to be the only guys doing this. We we believe this is the first in the world. Okay. And you can see it's just completely radically different. And what's exciting is that you know we think the runway in this technology is at least a couple of years, if not more. Okay. Because there are many other markets globally as well that are as emerging, if not more emerging, hmm. and mobile first than India. Yeah. That could really use this. All right, Kavin, thank you so much for sharing all those details with us on CNBC TV 18. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank My you pleasure. so much for your time. That's it on this special edition of CNBC TV 18's Young Turks. We were in conversation with Kavin Bharti Mittal to decode everything that Hike is up to and will be up to in the future. You can write into us to tell us what you thought of our show to youngturks at nw18.com. That's our mail ID. Or tweet us, CNBC Young Turks. That's our Twitter handle. Thank you very much for watching.